I hate doing this, but I really just wanted to ask for you guys to hit the like button and subscribe. It helps out the channel a lot, so I can make more content like this for you guys. Okay, let's get on with the tutorial. Hello and welcome to this Minecraft tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to make three separate secret bases. Now they all happen to be inside of this area. And I'll pause for a second to wait to see if you can find them. I bet you wouldn't. But, let's see. Did you find them? Let's see if, if you did. Let's see if you were correct. So, let's, let's just hop into this tutorial right now. So, the first one is going to be right down here. And you're going to need yourself a redstone torch. Now this may have looked a little out of place, but this was actually naturally generated. I did not place any of this. So, this one is just to place it to a redstone torch. Ah, it's a little tricky. There you are. And we go down. And here's my totally, to totally great, I don't know what I was going to say. Uh, totally great uh, base building because I actually know how to build. I don't. I really don't. You can stick your valuables in here and build the rest of your base. And the good thing is you can even close it behind you and it's cheap to make. So Let's get on to the tutorial for building this one. So, for, to start this one, you're gonna wanna dig out your hole. Dig out this little area right here. It's gonna be like a four by five. One, two, three, six. And then you can break these down. Uh, usually, sometimes you'll have to deal with this problem. We're just gonna deal with that problem, but you're second going to place your ladders down and place a lever. I'm just gonna switch this out. So then you're gonna want to place your stone block there. St stone block, your stone there, your stone there, place a sticky piston well, place your three sticky pistons. You're gonna have three sticky pistons, one there, one there, and one there. Then you're gonna wanna place a cauldron. Fill it with water. Then you do one of these. Comparator. And we'll deal with this pulse in a second. Actually, might as well do it now. Three, four, you can set it to any tick. Okay, so you're just going to set it like this, place your redstone into this. You actually don't even need this extra area, it's just for, sorry I said one too many. And you're going to want to place a stone block, redstone torch, place your redstone out here. Bring your a line of redstone right there, and that should be it. So if you click your torch right there, you gotta just click your lever. Then when you're ready to close it back up, there it is. Let's get on with the next one though, because I think you guys might enjoy that one. This one seems simple though. And I think people might like this one. The only problem is you need a redstone torch every time you open it, but it does drop it every time. So, but if you're inside, you can just close it, then open it from here. And then you can design whatever you want down there. So, have fun with this one. Let's get on with the next one. For the second one, it's gonna be almost impossible to see but you're gonna need a bow. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna aim for this little corner right here. And you 
go right there. Sorry for the vines. The vines are kind of screwing up what I was doing. There you are. Here's your base that I'm really good at building again. As I say, not a base designer. So you can put whatever you want back here. And it's pretty simple redstone. So, let's get on to the tutorial for this one. So, we're going to be using a weird mechanic for this one. I'm just going to show you it right here, and then we'll get on to it. If you aim for the corner of that block, very corner, it's just lower part, and you play, have a pressure plate here, it will go through. I mean, it can also hit through, hit through like hit for players and stuff. So if you have a player hiding in a corner, and you're on the other side, you can really spook them, or you can just hit them. I don't even know if you could do this with a dispenser, but you could do it with a slam block. But we're going to be using that mechanic, basically, where it goes through the edge to activate the pressure plate. So I'm just breaking that for a second. You're going to need two sticky pistons. Your two blocks that you're going to be pushing to, like your wall that you're moving. Three redstone dust. One redstone torch. A pressure plate. And a bow if for your activation. It's just for your activation. You could technically use a crossbow too. Both work. So what you're going to do, you break this part right now. Break this and break this. Place your sticky pistons. And then replace your thing. Then you're going to break your area all the way over. This is your secret base. Say whatever you want to put in here. You can. You place your pressure plate. Then you go down below. So two right here. Place your redstone torch. Place your redstone dust. Then just replace your stone. And if you want to just cover it up, you can. And you can build as far as you want in, as long as you're not outside. And this works on any corner. So if you had a corner in your base you wanted to use, you can. See? Stays open until you pick up that arrow. So if I pick up that arrow and move, it'll close. So, and I'll just show you how hidden this is. Like, if you didn't know it was there, I'll like look over here. If you didn't know it was there, you'd have no clue on how to get in there. I could maybe hit it from here by accident. Right about there. I'll stop trying. Let's get on with the next base. So, for the final one, we're going to come over here. And you're going to throw a block here, if I can move. It's that block. Which block was it? It's, it's really hidden. It's hidden from me. There it is. Yep. Just pretty simple. And you'll even come down here. You gotta be careful with lava. And... You can make your own exit better than I can, but be careful with the lava again. What the? Oh, I stepped into it. So then, it's closed. So, let's get on with the tutorial on that one. So, for this one, you're going to want to build yourself your little door. I think I went a little too far. You're gonna place, nope, that was at the right block. You're gonna go like this. This is the one I'll be using. And we're just, I'm just gonna make a regular exit because I'm not gonna make an exit for this one. You're just going to want to, if you want this to look good. You can hide it back here so it doesn't show the redstone but you might as well show it because you 
Yeah, so then you're just gonna place your block, redstone. I know I screwed this one up recently. This is just the one I'm gonna be building. You hook this part up to whatever you're doing. So for this one, we're gonna be doing a weird one here. So get rid of this button I have. It's going to be hopper, then mine cart with a hopper in it. Then you're going to place your grass block, but I just have dirt on me. I can fill it back in. So right there, you're going to set yourself a comparator. Right there. Then you're going to give yourself a repeater. Redstone, and then you got to find right there. There it is. You're going to have to go around. Or you can put the redstone on this side, which probably is smarter. Uh, yeah, just move the redstone over to this side. Actually, you know what? We already built the redstone. Might as well leave it there. It doesn't take much more redstone to do. You're just going to place redstone torch, redstone. There's a simple door for you. And then you might want to break down your thing. Then just, you can make your own egg. You just have to make your own exit for this one. I do not have one. I'm not going to make one for right now because that would just be, that's not the point of this video. You're just going to place stone there. But then you do have to give access to this hopper minecart. This hopper. You just have to give access to this hopper. You need the comparator, but you just give access to the hopper so the player can grab the item that's in there and then you should be good I'm just gonna leave out this way so drops the item opens up here you are if you're in survival you might want a water bucket no, the water there then you got this you build your place out there my totally cool thing then you got to make sure just always make sure you got the hopper here so you can pull it out and closes your door see door closed so I hope you enjoyed this one I had fun recording this one, and I hope to see you in another video. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.